I'm Justin with americantrucks.com and on this episode of the haul we're going to do our best to make this truck look like that one while sounding a whole lot better in the process. There's no denying the second gen Raptors are one of the baddest factory produced trucks of their time, right? I mean the looks, the performance, the suspension, there is a lot to love about these things. However, there are a couple of things not to love, right? First and foremost, that twin turbo V6. I think it's great. However, there are a lot of people out there who disagree with me. Secondly, the price. Listen, not everyone has 60 to 70 plus thousand dollars to drop on a shiny new Raptor. So that's the point of this video. As you can see, we have a bone stock five liter F-150 in the shop with us here today. The goal, transform this thing using some parts available in the aftermarket to recreate our very own Raptor clone. So we're gonna throw some appearance stuff at it, try to recreate this menacing look here, give the truck a new stance, obviously, throw some wheels and tires underneath this thing, and last but not least, give that five liter a little bit more of a voice and give the people what they want, right? That five liter V8 powered Raptor. Guys, this is gonna be a fun one. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos like this and more, but in the meantime, we got a lot of work to do here today, so let's do it. All right, guys, so if you're wondering what makes the Raptor so unique besides its killer appearance, well, it's the suspension, right? I mean, that's pretty much a no-brainer. Now, if you can find some OE takeoffs from a second-gen Raptor, well, you're in luck. They'll bolt right up to your standard F-150. If not, we've got a great compromise. We're looking at the Roush by Fox 2.0 coilover kit here with the matching rear shocks. Now, Roush actually put their own spin on the very capable Fox 2.0 setup here. Some unique valving, some unique spring rates going on with this particular kit, and they are adjustable up front. Again, zero to two inches exactly here. So you have some room to play, and you also have some room to throw in some bigger wheels and tires. Now, this stuff was actually OE equipment on the Roush Special Edition F-150, which comes equipped with roughly a 33 by 12 tire. So that's pretty much what we're gonna go with here for our Raptor clone. But aside from just being really nice components, again, Fox makes the OE stuff on the second gen truck, and they really know their stuff in the off-road market. This truck's gonna ride a lot better both on and off-road. It's gonna be more capable, it's gonna be more stable as well. It's gonna take some of the roll out of the truck in high-speed off-roading and on-roading situations. So the rears, again, are gonna be attuned to match the fronts here. Everything is T6 6061 aluminum, all made in the USA, and again, really, really nice components. So we'll get the truck lifted, we'll get those wheels and tires on, and see how this thing is looking with its new stance. Now, this is what I'm talking about, right? This stance is certainly worthy of a Raptor clone. Thanks again to that Roush by Fox 2.0 kit up front. And of course, our new wheels and tires. I told you guys we had a set coming on, and sure enough, here we go. This is the Soda Off-Road. It's our 17 by eight and a half. It's our Pro Series wheel in black. I think it's very sharp. And listen, if you're going for a Raptor style build, you need a small wheel with a lot of sidewall, at least in my opinion. So that's what we did here. Wrapped around those wheels is the Mickey Thompson ATZ tire. It's their all-terrain offering. So a nice balance of on and off-road stuff. Uh, obviously, it'll give us some grip off-road, but a relatively quiet ride while on the road as well. I should know, I had them on my Lariat for a long time. It's really an awesome tire. Now, the wheels themselves are a plus six offsets. What's that mean? Well, we got a little bit of poke, as you guys can see right now, without any fender flares, but if you know the Raptor, you know those things have some flares on them, so spoiler alert, they will be covered up here shortly. On top of that, guys, we went with roughly a 33 by 12 inch tire here with this particular suspension setup. We tried to set a 35 just to see if they would fit, and honestly, the front was gonna rub all over the place and would require some heavy trimming. So we stuck with the 33 because we know it's a size that fits and fits like a glove. There's no rubbing whatsoever, lock to lock, and it really looks proper here. So now now that we have a proper foundation when it comes to suspension, a great off-road suspension, and just a really nice looking ride height, now it's time to start nailing down that Raptor look. So we got a bunch of parts from our friends over at Barricade. We're gonna blow apart the front end of the truck, start installing some of those, and this thing should really start taking shape. Well, as you can see, guys, Nick is absolutely blowing through the uninstall of these parts because 
we have some new headlights in place. Now the factory headlights on the second gen Raptor are completely badass. I love them, but they're a lot of dough from the factory. So the next best thing is to tackle something similar through an aftermarket park. We have the axials in place now. You can find these on the site. And I like them because they're very similar to the second gen headlights. You have the black housing, clear lens, little LED trim ring going on, but they're a fraction of the cost of those OE Raptor headlights. Now these things are really sharp in addition to being very easy to install. There's no cutting, no splicing of any wires. Everything is completely plug and play. And I don't know about you guys, but I think they look pretty damn sharp here on our truck. But that's not all. We also have some other Raptor inspired parts from our friends over at Barricade. Yes, the grill, the dude grill, as everybody likes to call it. But let's be honest, Ford has some very tight trademarks on their factory Ford lettering. So therefore, this is the next best solution. Now, I'm not telling you anything you shouldn't do, but I do see some screws on a couple of letters here. So if you wanted to fix that dude lettering with some Ford lettering after you buy it, who am I to stop you? But in the meantime, it's a really sharp grill, obviously very reminiscent of the second gen trucks. You have the LED lighting going on. In addition to the bumper, it's very, very sharp. Again, very reminiscent of the second gen trucks. And altogether, these parts should make this thing look pretty darn close to a second gen Raptor when installed. So speaking of which, I'm gonna stop talking. We'll hand these things over to Nick, let him bang out the rest of these installs, revisit the front end once it's done and see how it looks. Well guys, Nick just finished up with the install here of the grill and the bumper, and I have to admit, I was a little skeptical at first, but I think it looks awesome now with everything installed. Yes, I know the grill doesn't say Ford, but it looks identical to the Gen 2 Raptor factory grill, minus the lettering. In addition to the barricade Raptor style front bumper, it really just ties that look together and works very well with the axial headlights. You do have the LED grill running lights here as well, which do work with the factory running lights in the headlights and overall Nick said this thing practically threw itself together so everything fits great no awkward gaps anywhere with this package whatsoever and yes you do lose your factory fog lights however you have so much room down here you can throw a few cube lights you can get creative utilize the factory wiring which is still in place in addition to still reusing your factory tow hook so overall guys I think it looks pretty darn good. We do have one more part from the trio of Barricade Raptor specific parts, in addition to some other parts we're going to install right now, but I'm really stoked with how this thing's turning out. Let's talk about what Nick and I just finished up. This is the Barricade Fender Flare set, the Raptor style flare. So you have the functional LEDs built into the front flares here, kind of this textured matte black finish, and they're really low profile. I really like that aspect about these because some of those flares out there are cool if you're running a negative 20 offset, but since our wheel and tire combo isn't terribly aggressive, these offer just enough coverage while still not being completely over the top. So really dig these parts. Again, it flows well with the Barricade front set up. You also saw us install the Weston Thrasher running boards. Those things look great. Again, I think they are a dead ringer for the factory boards on the second gen Raptor. They look sharp. They offer a whole bunch of footing and just really help complete the package. But we have one more part to install, part appearance, part sound, a dual split rear exit system from our friends over at Ford Performance and Borla. Black tips because Raptor, of course, and it should sound a whole lot better in the process. Well guys, the final piece of the puzzle is in place thanks to the Ford Performance by Borla touring catback with the twin black tips coming out from underneath the rear bumper, just like that second gen truck. That's the big reason why I selected this system for our build, but on top of that, sounds really good without being terribly over the top and waking up every damn neighbor on the block. Now Ford Performance by Borla, killer quality, 304 grade stainless and fits like a glove, even with the spare in place. So. That's it guys, the look is officially complete here. We're gonna get this thing down off the lift, take it for a little spin on the road and see if we can't have a little bit of fun. Honestly guys, I think the truck turned out really well thanks to the stuff from Barricade, the grill, the bumper, the fender flares, the wheels and tires, and obviously the suspension. Oh mama. 
there's that. Yeah, my Raptor definitely does not have that, whatever just happened back there with that sound. That is foreign to me, unfortunately. Now, granted, my Raptor would leave this thing at the line. I mean, I'm making nearly 500 foot-pounds of torque, whereas this thing, listen, it's a stout motor, but... Yeah, God, I don't care. Man, that sounds good. And honestly, that's a pretty rough portion of the road, and this thing just soaked it right up. It's really nice. I'm really impressed with the Fox setup and the Roush tweaks to the Fox 2.0 setup. Again, this is the same suspension that Roush puts on their special edition F-150s. Ride height's a little better, obviously. We're a little higher up, at least up front. Gives you a sense of being a little higher up here in the old captain's chair. And listen, you can certainly go out there and spend 100, 200 bucks on a puck-style leveling kit, and there's nothing really wrong with that. However, you're just getting a little bit more lift up front. You're not necessarily getting the engineering and the damping that goes into a nice set of coilovers and shocks like this, as Fox is known for. I mean, this is really, really top, top of the line stuff. Okay, you know, it's still a truck. It's not a Mustang. Let's not flip this thing over, but now we're going through that turn at 40. It feels pretty good. Overall, guys, let's sum this thing up, right? I mean, looks, listen, we're pretty darn close. Obviously, we're not nearly as wide as the factory second gen truck, but we have a lot of the basic pieces in place. Suspension's great. Listen, that's the highlight of the build for me here in this particular instance because rides great on the road. You get a little bit more capability off-road. Granted, it's still not second gen level. We're not talking 3.0 stuff here, but it's certainly a lot better than the factory stuff that we took off. And the sound is a no-brainer, right? Hands down winner to the five liter truck here with that Ford Performance by Borla setup. When something sounds this damn good, you shouldn't hold it back, am I right? But either way, pretty impressed with this build. Turned out a lot better than I thought it would. What do you think? I mean, I know it's kind of hard to compare a modded Raptor to a Raptor clone, but overall, I think we did pretty well. Keep in mind, you can find all the parts we used here on this build at americantrucks.com and drop us a comment below wherever you're watching this in. Let us know what you think of our Raptor conversion. Guys, thanks for watching and for all things F-150, keep it right here at americantrucks.com.